we can recruit now finally the bird tom and bill does he have also a different look yeah oh look at would you look at that that's dope take these wings boom what is up guys and welcome to the beyond sana and my name is shanks and today we're gonna play the new update of the edin mod the 4.6 which added a brand new faction the mr mountains faction we're gonna disable the custom heroes we're gonna get inside the jeans and we're gonna play against the hard difficulty because i don't feel confident yet to play against brutal i don't know what actually what i need to expect in this mod i haven't played this for a really long time but what i like about this mod the most is that you know it pretty much combines bfme1 and bfme2 uh, in one single game as you can see we have spot buildings and we need to also expand the storerooms to get more command points we can build a goblin layer for, for now and just spam units all the time from the powerpoint spellbook we have the chance to pick up the drum of the misty mountains summons a drum which gives more movement speed to allied units in range as long as drums and the deep is active allies additionally gain or deal 30 percent more damage so we're gonna pick this one up and we need more resources more resources okay i'm gonna build a tower or two towers actually just to feel a bit more safe um, actually three towers you know because I'm not gonna camp in the base. I'm gonna try to creep this walk layer. Hopefully, we will be able to do that with two goblins. I don't know if it's possible or not, but we shall find out. Let's use aggressive stance too. We deal now more damage. But the, oh, I thought like this is a troll layer. No, it's actually a troll drumming. Okay. A drummer troll. Legit a drummer troll. Let's make more money. One more tower. And we can spam also more arches from this, more goblins from this. Early game, we can, you know, kind of get, kind of try to get through with only spamming units. You hear that? <laughs> okay. And the good thing is we will get additional um, goblin layer. And they also give us money, these goblin layers. That's pretty good. But unlike in Beef Me 2 and Rise of the Witch King, in which you normally can extend your command points by building additional resource buildings, like for example, furnaces or slaughterhouses, in this game, you need to get those store rooms. And the one thing what kind of I don't like about this mod is the speed of the game. Like when you want to purchase that, for example, the amount of time it takes for you to purchase that. It just feels like a really, really long time, you know? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But for me, it personally feels like it's a really long time. And the Vorks actually respawn very quickly. Very, very quickly. Hopefully, we will be able to finish them. Okay. We have goblins here, archers here. Let's get them in a good spot. And also the unit recruit speed, as you can see. It's really, really long, you know? As from the heroes, we can actually recruit uh, the chief team. Um, unit sport. Come, goblins, come. We will swarm over them. We can also recruit bulk. Um, the hunter for 250 only. The pioneer for 250. And of course, the legendary dragon smaug. Okay, we were able to win this, no problemo. And now we can creep this one right after. The plan is to get additional uh, buildings we can use just to get stuff done way, way faster. Command, I mean, obviously the map control is everything that's very important, especially in a game like this, in which you have settlement based uh, gameplay, because you cannot build wherever you want to. You have limitations, obviously. Okay not need more archers and also more goblins let's group them all together in this spot and from here we can also recruit additional goblin warriors no problemo okay the first hero is going to be this one and this is the only hero who can build stuff so we are able to build the gandabad tunnel build a tunnel to gandabad um Gundabad, i mean the tunnel the tunnel can't be built within a minimum distance to any other tunnel and we have also the chance to build a goblin town tunnel I don't know i don't know what the difference is to be honest with you and I, I don't even know if this actually gives us any money it doesn't say it's a resource building i want to save up for bulk okay, immediately go forward actually oh they are also coming from this location i'm gonna build this and get away actually run for my life and now we can also go to this spot these pikemen they shouldn't be able to achieve too much we have like too many towers and i believe our towers all alone is going to be able to defend us but just you know to make sure that it's going to be the case i will make sure to 
build some more towers. Okay. Get the money. Build one more goblin cave. And go ahead. Yeah, as you can see, they cannot really do much about that. Alright, we can in the meantime creep this one. Our map control is looking pretty good. And the more map control we have, the better it is. Because we get more money. And if you don't know, um, hear about this um, loot mines, it's very important. Because the more you build, as you can see, the less resources you will get. So if you have like 6 of them, you will get minus 30% resources. You know? No, actually not. Reduce the cost of structures, that's what it is. But I'm also pretty certain that you um, get less money the more you have. Oh, holy mo- what is this, man? Goblin archers from this spot. Finish off the layer. And we have still no money. I want to definitely recruit Smog later on. And the money from the creep is going to be, of course, very, very important for us. Let's finish this layer to get even more money. We need... Oh, okay. You know what it means. We need to once again get the storerooms for 200 more command points. Oh, him. I'm just, I'm just like spamming units. I don't even know they are doing what they want to do with the aggressive stance. Okay, more units are coming from here. Let's use the archers to support this for the defense. Even though we have like plenty of towers, but you know. What is this? Recruit Bert, Tom and Bill. For 2,500. Holy moly. That's expensive, man. Attack, 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 attack. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, he has now um, Gondor Knights. But that's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a problem. Powers are going down too. Oh, we have no. We need more units, man. One tower is down. Oh, that's not good. We need those units, uh, those buildings to be level three too. Come on. I want to get bulk. I think bulk is going to be very important. Let's recruit some normal goblins. He's killing my towers. Don't touch my towers. Okay, we should be able to defend. Because we are investing all the money most of the time into more and more units. We need still a bit more. What is this pact of hatred? Take control of any wild layer. Dragons cannot be controlled. Oh. Hold on a second. Let's do this. It's an untamed allegiance kind of thing. It's even called untamed allegiance here. Can I use it? I can't. Can I use it here? No, this one. It is. Yeah. Okay, now I'm able to control that. That's pretty good, actually. Nice. So we have now more units around this area. That's pretty good. Um, creates a wild goblin, work layer, work spider, or troll layer. The layers will be summoned in a random but predefined. Okay, let's summon it here, if we can. Can we creep this now? Yeah, look, we can creep this too. That's very interesting. My troll is just died. I don't know why he went there, to be honest with you. But I know that we have now finally enough money for bulk. And also we can recruit the hunter at the same time. We need some sort of defense around this area too. Just to, me to make sure to not be defeated randomly. Creep this. Oh, the Gondor Knights are messing us up big time though. We have like zero pikemen up on the field, so... We need some more goblin warriors around this area. And the hunter is here. Let's try to finish off this lair. These trolls, they actually are quite expensive. They cost 600 each. I mean, they are pretty powerful eventually, but still, you know, they are very expensive. I'm gonna get some more archers from this spot. Yeah, money is a, money is a big problem. Money is a really a big problem. Bulk has arrived. Okay. So, Bulk, uh, level 1 to level 10, has fought, uh, it's actually quite tanky, 600 HP, unit support, that's the strength, Gorit, Zip, Gori, <laughs> Gori Duke, 
Cody Duck. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. They have the banner of the Orc Hearts. A bulk Iron Hand forces the Orcs into more discipline and unity. As long as bulk is on the battlefield, Orc Hearts can purchase banner carry upgrade, banner bearers. Okay. Wrath of the Misty Mountains. For a short time, bulk and all banner carry bearers in a wild area receive splash damage and knock their enemies back. And we have the bulks elite, but I mean, we can do that. I think we can reach them when we unlock them. We seem to be in a good spot. We have even extrovers from this spot. Uh, I'm not tempted to actually kill this because I want to control this, if I'm being honest with you. Let's build now the war clear. Get the money from this layer. I mean, we have a great amount of map control, but still the money is looking kind of meh. This is like a long cooldown. The pack of the heat red. Okay, I mean, the Gondor player or the Gondor faction is Vol, so we need some sort of siege before we can do anything about that. We can try to take a look into this area with our heroes too. We need a bit more money. We need a bit more money for the smog. And there is also like a golem lurking around somewhere on the map. Hold on. My heroes, I need them to tank the damage. We can give them banner carrier too for 75 gold only. So they can respawn slowly but surely over time. Come on, Bulk. Look, Bulk is going ham, boys. I mean, he's quite beefy. I would be surprised if the troll could actually kill him in a one-on-one -on -one situation. I don't think it's going to be the case. This Gondor faction... Oh, don't trample the pikemen. These are pikemen, actually. Not soldiers. Even though they look like soldiers, but they are not. And we can attack this area now. Again, we can avoid fighting this layer because we can just control it later on. Ball, can you help this? I mean, who's shooting this barrage on the ground all the time? I'm very curious. Let's get more of them. Actually, cancel them because I'm really close to smog. And now we can recruit smog. That's what I wanted. Get the money, get the money, get the money. You got the money, please. Don't steal the money from me. Nice. Now we can fight back. We can destroy the outpost. And hold on a second. You know what time it is. Oh, I can even give them the torches. That's pretty good. Torches would eventually deal more damage. And I want to see how the outpost is looking like. So we have the chance to build a camp or a fissure. Allows the training of giants. So I'm going to build this actually. He hold on. I want to build this fissure around this area. He just upgraded this, by the way. Can you guys help this? We need to wait a little bit before we can do anything. Let's build one, one of the trolls. In the camp, they cost both the same. But we have scavenger now, finally. The hordes of the Misty Mountains gain. Okay, so we get money for killing enemy units, you know, eventually. Let's build the camp once we have 800 in the bank. There we go. And smoke. Oh, look at this big dragon, boys. Smoke. Level 1 to level 10. He has 5,500 HP right off the bat. The strength is mass slaying. He has 800 melee damage. My armor is like 10 shields. My teeth are swords. My claws are spears. My tail strikes like lightning. My wings are a hurricane. And my breath brings death. Ring function. So you can pick up the ring with the smoke. The greed of the golden dragon grows immeasurably. I don't know this word. For, sorry for that. For every 1,500 gold in the player's possession, Smog demands higher tribute. But in return, he receives 20% more damage, armor, and a maximum to a maximum of 100%. In addition, Smog captures resources for defeat enemies. I mean, he looks pretty badass to me. Can I control this now? Yeah, boom, I have another one. Another one. We are taking over the map, boys. We are taking over the map. So now, the, does he have leadership too? What is this? Land. Okay. Oh, he can land on the ground too. Greed of the Golden Dragon. To satisfy his greed for riches, Smog demands a tribute of the wild layer. Smog destroys any targeted allied layer and gains experience. The more, exp the more expensive the layer, the more experience. I want to see this. So we are tributing him, and he gets level 3. So we can keep doing this all the time, right? We can... Oh, nice, actually. We can passively level him up to level 10. That's dope. 
We are taking over the map, boys. Maybe Heart was a little bit too easy. I want to see the fireball. Use the fireball. Take this. Okay, never mind. It deals no damage, but it leaves fire on the ground. I'm assuming it will deal damage afterwards. We can also recruit these two, but I want to look up for the for the one rank. The fortress here has no upgrades. So unlike in normal Rise of the Witch King. Let's build this. Let's build this. Okay. Our command points are looking good. Our money is looking good. And you know what we can also do? We can recruit now finally the Bird, Tom and Bill. Three trolls in one. I want to see how they are looking like. And again, guys, if you want to see more editing content on this channel, please let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe some harder 1v1s against better AI. I was just playing against hard because I was not feeling confident about how this will be playing off. You know, I don't have experience. Smaug doesn't deal too much damage to the layers. Layers are extremely tanky or he just barely deals any damage to it. And also the greed of the golden dragon has a long, has a long cooldown. So you can not do it over and over again, you know. Finish this. Come on. Alright, from the future we are able to recruit the mountain giants. You know, pretty much for the siege. Smog, can you destroy this please? It'd be nice if you can. Okay, now we have the hero. Bird. Um, he has normal stats. He automatically detects enemies with a medium range. Okay, so basically your, your, your battle stance are now looking different for this kind of... Like when you have Bird, it's like a normal. Tom is like more defensive. Has increased armor value but lower attack damage. And Bill. Or more damage. Does he have also a different look? Yeah. <laughs> okay. He can throw rocks. And he has also, of course, ability to smash him into jelly. Tom Bert and Bill throw themselves on their enemies. So it's like a, like a leap attack, I believe. And we have also um, come. Some jelly. Look, cook some jelly. <laughs> Set up their cooking pot. Nearby allied heroes and units are permanently healed. And we have also the chance for the troll lair. Three robbers summon a troll layer, which they defend with their lives. They get 300% armor when near the troll layer. You can summon a maximum of a, uh, one troll layer. And then with level 10, the three trolls. For a short time, the selected trolls calls other two trolls to the battlefield. So they can summon additional trolls on the battlefield. But we could, what we can do now once again... Oh, this is still a very long cooldown, man. Really, really long cooldown. But it's fine. Money doesn't seem to be a problem, but we were not able to find the one ring yet. And I would like to change that. I want to find the one rank. Can I get even more command points? Yes, sir. I can get more command points. Up to 1,500 in total. Hold on. What can I build here? And I mean, pretty much what I can build in my... Yeah. I'm going to build this and this. I mean, money doesn't seem to be a problem. Even though we are not very rich. I mean, we have literally full map control, but... You know, we are still not super wealthy yet. We have taken care of about every single layer in the game. And this actually stays on the field forever until somebody is destroying that. Smog, can you deal with that? I am fire. Okay, we need to kind of take a look where the ring might be. The giant can also start sieging. Maybe the ring is behind. Thanks for the follow on the Twitch channel. Appreciate it. It really means a lot. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, the Misty Mountains, I don't think you have the chance to buy upgrades. But I'm maybe I'm wrong. We are kind of full on this. We cannot build any more of that. We can only recruit this hero. I don't know where the ring is. I have no clue. Give me a I mean, Gollum is somewhere around the map. I've definitely enabled the ring heroes. So they gotta be somewhere. Definitely. 100%. I hear the eagles. Okay. Uh, Smaug can take care of that. No problem, right? Three giant eagles. Are you kidding me? It would be nice if he would be able to throw rocks on, on the... <laughs> <laughs> if you would be able to throw rocks on the eagles. But that's not being the case. Okay. We need to defend this somehow. Kill the eagles. 
They are destroying me. They are destroying me. I mean, I don't know if we can actually get the chance to get all this unlocked. So we have the chance for the Eternal Strife. Choose one Orc Realm to temporarily uh, grant it a position of supremacy. It gains strong ad advantages and can additionally recruit all its specialized units from settlements building builds for a medium duration. We have the Watcher. We have the Drums in the Deep. Drumming from the depths of the Misty Mountains pierces the hearts of the Dwellers, causing them to rush relentlessly. All Orcs and Orc Riders are temporarily... Okay, you can also recruit Orc Riders from a location. Awaken Worm. The Durin's Bane, of course, the Balrog. And then the Beast of the Eret Mifri. The rampaging campaigns of the Goblins got the attention of the most fearsome creatures of Middle -earth, in Middle-earth. Summons a Draclea, which generates a lot of resources, recruits fire tricks. Okay. But I don't know if he can do that, actually. Maybe not. The eagles are still remaining on the field, but they have not much time left anymore. We need definitely some more giants for the siege. And we yet still were not able to find the one ring. I don't know where Gollum might be hiding. Like, we see literally all the map. But I couldn't find him yet. With 5 power points, we can go for this one, actually, only. But that's kind of pointless, because we need this two to unlock this one. We know how Balrog is looking like, so I don't want to go for another Balrog. Alright, look at that. We can From this building, we can recruit the gr uh, Great Beast for 300. And then we can also recruit the cave troll. Um, we can recruit goblin archers. Goblin pikemen even. And then you have the chance to recruit Moria goblin drummer. Okay. I believe it's like a siege weapon. The great beast. It's like a small grunt. My hero is looking pretty badass to me, dude. Can I kill this? Kill this. Let's see if, we can, if I can one-shot it. Fireball. Uh, Fireball is a little bit underwhelming. Not, I'm being that honest with you guys. <laughs> I mean, it should be like. Also, the smoke damage is kind of meh. I mean, it's a trebuchet, and he needs a fireball and three alt attacks to kill one trebuchet. Come on, man. Where are you? Where are you, Gollum? I, I want to find Gollum, guys, really, you know? Where can I get the upgrades from? That's what I want to know. Okay, these are the Goblin Pikemen. This is the Great Beast for the Siege. So we can try to attack the gate, just why not? And we can use now this in this dude to throw rocks against the wall of Gondor. I want to send one back to the fortress. I don't know where the, where the Gollum is. I have, like, no clue where the Golem is. I mean, we see the full map, don't we? I don't know, man. The siege has begun. Now comes the Great Beast for 1600. I want to see the damage against the Geet. It's actually pretty decent. Okay. Six power points in the bank. So I can now go for this one. I'm gonna just get this one actually and use it. But first of all, I need to build stuff, I believe. Let's build like that, just why not? We have so much money, we can do whatever we want to. Uh, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I have no clue where Gollum is. I'm pretty certain that I have enabled the Ring Heroes, but I can not find him. Maybe I'm blind. Maybe you guys have seen it already. Maybe if you did, please don't, you know, let me know. <laughs> let me know where. Because I missed it. I wanted to pick up the one ring, you know, with this dude. Just kill the... Okay, I can destroy this, right? Hold on. I can't even do this. Can I actually land with him? Let's land. I want to see how it looks like. He's landing now. Okay. So that's how it looks like when he's landing. And the way he's attacking now is going to be way better. Oh, the splash damage is coming in clutch. He has the dragon screech. Smogly. Okay, pretty much like a fear. And with level 10, we have hypotonic geese. Smog 
wards of an enemy hero with his eyes, putting doubt in their hearts. The targeted hero becomes invulnerable for a short duration, but will not respond to any commands and will no longer fight. Okay, so it's a very unique ability. Um, not killing a hero, but making him kind of useless. I like that. I mean, it's very hard to get power. Oh, oh. Hold on. You can actually build stuff. I didn't know that. How can I... How can I recruit him? Oh, look at... Would you look at that? That's dope. You can build like a slave hole. Uh, loot heart. Construct a bridge towards the loot. What? That's kind of crazy, man. Alright. Town barracks. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. My hero is popping off still. His damage against buildings is kind of meh. But everything else is pretty good. Just break the wall. Share it into pieces. Yeah, it's pointless to attack buildings with smog. But we can get wings again and then just fly away. No problemo. I'm still looking for Gollum and hoping that there is a chance we might be able to find him. And he has different abilities too when he is um, dismounted. Can I not use it? Hmm. Maybe here? No, maybe here? No? Maybe here? No, I cannot use it anymore, for whatever reason. I would like to get him to level 10, but it seems to not be possible. Okay. So, it's okay, though. What? Left click to activate. Oh, he just repaired this. Can you use it automatically? I mean, that's dope, you know? Unstable construction. But it's, it's looking pretty lit. And now we can also recruit... Uh, okay, uh, the real... Ah, okay, it makes... No, of course, we cannot recruit anything because we are kind of command points cap. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just sacrifice the units here. Because we are kind of full on command points. That's why, you know? Don't die. Don't die. Level 8, the hunter. Level 10 gives, gives, gives him the chance to summon Thimble. The hunter permanently summons the orc Captain Thimble and his war riders from the Mount Gundabad. While Thimble and his war riders are on the field, the ability cannot be used again. So you cannot have one more, you know, more than one. He destroyed my wall. Okay, now we can recruit him. The Great Goblin. That's dope. That's dope. Down, down to Goblin Town. I mean, I'm pretty certain that we have not discovered a lot of stuff, which we should have, because I couldn't find the one ring yet on this map, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I thought I will be able to find it. I don't even know why I couldn't find it, because I've literally discovered the full map. There is no spot I haven't seen yet. I see also behind my base everything. Now we have the chance to fight with the great Goblin King. Yeah, also quite tanky, and the strength is pillaging. I don't want to win the game yet, though. Let me read this a little bit. And also the design of the Palantium is looking pretty lit. Okay. All right. Now I can use the Eternal Strife. It do some shenanigans, but I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so this guy, Lord of the Pillaging Hearts. The Great Goblin commands the hearts of Goblin Town and can use his abilities over the entire map. Every time he uses an ability, he receives experience points. As long as the Great Goblin is on the battlefield, the Goblin Pillagers can send additional Goblin Warriors. Look at the smoke. And then you have also the Raid Command. The Great Goblin gives his henchmen the order to attack a hostile resource building. Allied units nearby the building gain 50% more damage. Can be used from afar. So, I believe you can be wherever you want to. Look, you can be here. And I don't know what's gonna happen now. <laughs> okay, you've also the chance tunnel diggers of the Great Goblin. 
The Great Goblin has a tunnel duck on the target area which is connected to the existing tunnel network. Then you have also the chance for the raid with level 8 and level 10, the Thunder card of the Great Goblin. The Great Goblin calls for a card into which is which his minions can load their loot. Okay, so this one was the Goblin Town and we can also do that with the Gunda, Gundabad I think. So, oh, don't die. Oh, what are you doing here, man? Run, you fool. Get, get on top of the... Well, what happened? They're repairing everything. Look at this. The AI is going crazy. Just break down the wall. Okay, it looks like we will be able to get in safety too. That's dope. Can he also attack? Yeah, he can attack, of course. That's good. I mean, the heart was kind of way easier than I was expecting it to be. I thought the fight is going to be a little bit longer and we can eventually unlock way more power points, but the heart seems to not be that hard at the end of the day. And I cannot believe it. The golem is hiding from me. I cannot believe it. I would love to show you guys what happens with this mouth when you pick up the one ring, you know? I would love to show that, but unfortunately, it looks like we won't be able to do that. Go tunnel diggers. We can also recruit these. And from this, we can also recruit... Uh, yeah, this is Ezok. We can recruit Ezok. For 1800. Lead the chief of the Oryx from Gundabad into battle. Hero slaying. My smoke is getting more experience, but it still needs a long time. Bulk has fallen. I don't care. I can revive him. Because he will be mad when his son is dead. Because Bulk was the son of Ezok. Okay, so that's gonna be a great amount of army. Hold on. I can use my wing blast now. Right here. I want to see this. Take these wings. Boom. It deals not enough damage. Like, the damage from this dude is kind of under underwhelming, if I'm being honest with you guys. Okay, now we have Azok. And he looks pretty lit, man. He looks like in the films, too. Mount, dismount, walk. Can be this he can be mounted. Powerful strike. Okay, so he's looking pretty nice. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, it's time to spam this giants. And then also some trolls. Okay, level 2. My dragon is getting stronger and stronger. But he's still far away from getting to the point in which he can get level 10 unlocked. And even though um, I, don't, I didn't see any heroes from this Gondor. He never recruited any heroes, unfortunately, for him. Maybe heroes could be helpful, but he didn't. Okay, we killed it. That's good. Can we recruit some stronger units too? Maybe some cave trolls? I don't know. Get dismounted. I'm gonna right click this. If level 10, bring me. Oh, look. He has a different level 10. The Devla attacks an enemy hero, inflicting sev several damage. Nearby enemy units freeze in fear for their leader. But look, when you are mounted, you have a different ability, I believe. Yeah, bring me his head. That's pretty nice that his abilities are changing uh, if he's mounted or dismounted. Sends out some of his minions to bring him the head of an enemy hero. The hero is briefly paralyzed and attack, attacked by some orcs of Gundabad. That's pretty good, man. That's like very, very detailed uh, mod. Alright, so you know what time it is. It is time for the legendary Q button. And then we're gonna E-click. This dude actually got level 10. I'm gonna, I'm gonna summon it. Let's go, like this. Alright, now we have summoned this dude. The War Criders! Oh, he summoned the EOD on me. How did he get EOD and I'm still so far away from my 10 power point? That's very unfortunate. I mean, I couldn't find the one ring, man. That's that's really what, what, what bothers me the most. But the EOD is also dealing no damage almost. You know, they need like one hour to kill the one, they, one of the giants. <laughs> okay, level four. Level seven. I can get dismount. I cannot look. I cannot dismount him inside the castle. That's not possible. Can I summon the drum? No, I can summon it a little bit outside though. 
and it still affects the units around this area. He's repairing. Getting power points is really difficult in this game. I mean, this game is going now for over 30 minutes and we have still not unlocked enough of them. The effective siege unit against fortress gates and buildings. High armor against, but it's vulnerable against melee units. I mean, this description is kind of missing. You should be saying he has high armor against arrows or something, you know? Trample them down. Maybe we get when we get lucky, we have the 10 power points very soon. Only when we get lucky. We are really close. Really, really close. Come on. Can we do it? I think we will get it. I think we will get it, boys. And I, we know how... Okay, nice. We know how Balrog is looking like. So we can actually go for this one. Beast of, Beast of the Erit Mithril. So basically, you are summoning a dragon layer. Right here. Let's do this. And here, we are able to get a dragon strike, for example. Let's summon this. It has like a cooldown. We can also recruit fire drakes. And also cold drake. The dragon strike is coming, you see? You can use it from this... It's not that effective against buildings, I believe. It doesn't deal that much damage, unfortunately. And I would love to find the ring, but I couldn't. That kind of bothers me so much, boys. You can't even, you can't even imagine. I want to see the call trick, though. Let's kill this. We have so much, so many command points still. This guy, we have never recruited this dude, but it's okay. And of course, if you don't know what, what this is, you can control the camera with that. Just like in multiple different mods, it's pretty much the same. How long, how much damage? Oh, this guy is chunking, man. Look at this. Oh, this is some damage. This great beast. And he's attacking fast too. Look at him. Bulk has returned. Look at the damage. Look at the speed of the attacks. That might be one of the best siege weapons in the game, actually. <laughs> he's crushing everything. Okay, we have the Fire Drake. The Fire Drake is looking like this, by the way. It's a little bit different from the Fire Drake in Rise of the Witch King. It's like a reskin in with the level 4 ground, ground Young Drake. Let the Fire Drake grow. Okay. I don't know how fast he will be leveling up. Can I attack this thing? Oh, this also is chunking. Okay, the Fire Drakes are legit dealing no damage to this uh, things. And it looks like my unit is not going to make it out. Okay, he's going to make it out. Come on, come on. Oh, that's a cold trick. And he's going to be a flying hero. Roar. Okay, he's roaring like that. And that's his only, only, only ability. The fire trick is on, on foot. And the cold trick is a flyer. So that's pretty good. But we he killed our thing, unfortunately. It's okay though. All right, I think we are able now, or we are going for the for the finish. Let's go ham, finish this game. Channel drive. All right. All right, all right, all right. I hope I've I've shown you guys everything. Unfortunately, not everything from the spell book. I would love to show you guys also, uh, see it the Balrog and stuff, but I couldn't because there were not enough units for us to kill. To do that but hopefully it was still enjoyable and before we actually call it i want to just go into the practice tool of this game and make sure to pick up the one ring with the smog so you can see how smog is going to be when he's level 10 with the one ring under his possession okay i think i have like a custom map in which we can do that hopefully it's gonna work out with this game too with this mod and again when you enjoyed it in the mod you can let me know in the comment section down below and i can try to make more videos about that in the future maybe we can also go for the maximum difficulty um because that's only the second hardest that's only hard you know me i don't like to play against plebs i like this also a lot it's like in the campaign of pfme one when the game ends you have like this animation and when you are evil saruman is talking when you are good Gandalf is talking i like that i like that okay so it was hard as you can see and let me check I have enabled the ring heroes indeed. And the hardest difficulty is brutal. But I want to jump into this one. Hold on. 
Hopefully it's gonna work. Please work. No, it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. But it's fine. Guys, GG Wobble Fleet. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, keep hitting like a track. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.